easy. Welcome back after the madness of Christmas and New Year. Hope you've all had a, a great time, a great break. And here we are in 2020. So I haven't been out for a, a week or two, so decided today to make a way along uh, to a local, my local creek in a place called Gweek. Um, just to see some birds on the estuary, really. Herons, egrets, there's quite a few cattle egret around as well. Kingfisher, grey wag, and a lot of other waders as well. So we'll just pop along, get set up, and have a nice few hours this afternoon. Um, it's a bit overcast, a little bit of drizzle, um, but just get out, see what's about, and hopefully have some uh, good images later on. I'll see you down there. Well, just making my way down to the creek. This terrain is pretty bad. It's, uh, I'm going along what looks like kind of a deer track. So uh, not the easiest, but uh, we shall get there shortly. <laughs> So we're uh, now set up in location, um, just off just off the actual estuary. Um, kind of the important thing really is to get a bit lower down in a moment, so I'll probably move down onto the beach area just to get that intimate low aspect view for any any potential waders um, that come across just into the into the little channels here. Um, <clears throat> quite tricky terrain getting in here, so very very slopey getting down onto the shoreline. Um, and the kingfish is buzzing all over the shop um, at the minute and as I was coming through I flushed probably a dozen woodcocks so uh, absolutely cracking area for them in here. So set up now, probably going to move down the beach, get myself in a more of a uh, secluded position really uh, and hopefully um, I flushed a few um, red shank when I came in and there's a couple curlew but they'll, um, they'll be back uh, it was difficult to get in here without making any noise, and they're so twitchy, so they've they've they flushed now. But uh, hopefully they'll be they'll be back shortly, and we'll get some get some decent shots. So I'm here now, set up just down on the beach. I've not gone too far in because it's really really muddy, as you'd expect expect in an estuary. Um, so I don't want to get stuck. Tide is on its way out. Half past four, I think it's low water, and at the moment there's a little egret just. making its way up towards me which is quite nice hoping that it's going to track up this way and not be too deterred by my presence I haven't really got properly cammed up today I've got a little net to put over um, and hopefully it will make its way up towards me there's also a couple of green shank there that are just feeding 
um, below it. So uh, fingers crossed really that they'll make their way up. If to excuse me, there's a road at the top there um, with the odd car going past so uh, there will be a little bit of background noise there. But um, just have to let everything settle down, let the birds get used to the situation. Um, obviously I flushed a few, that egret's now quite happily feeding at the top end so uh, lovely to see. But, uh, give it half an hour and see if things settle down. So I'm really pleased to say that my YouTube channel you know, has, has picked up quite a bit over the last uh, month or so and I hit my target 400 subscribers on Christmas Day which was kind of like my goal. Um, I was hoping for 500 by the end of the year but uh, I think I might have been over egging it a little but I'm really really pleased how it's going so far and thanks to everybody really that has supported me um, in the latter part of the year my channel's only been going for five and a half months so you know not very long um, and I, I just ask you really you know if you have any ideas for me there's a red shank just dropped in um, just off the back that if you have anything you'd like me to focus on concentrate on go for any gear techniques you know all sorts of things really anything you you can see that you'd, you'd like to see on my channel and anything you don't like particularly obviously let me know that as well but I'm, I'm really really pleased um, and I've got a lot lot planned this year uh, I've got a, an expedition to the Cairngorms in Scotland uh, in the next few weeks which will be great I'm hoping to focus on on ptarmigan and a lot of um, a lot of mountainous species up there so that would be absolutely superb so I'm hoping to do um, quite a bit of logging up there if I've got the time and I'm just buying a new um, video vlogging bit of equipment so I'm hoping the quality will be even better better sound because a lot of you have said the sound sometimes isn't the best but uh, you know I, I've only got a I've got a basic setup so you know hopefully things will improve in time but if you've got anything for me please you know feel free just just drop me a line let me know put it in the comments uh, like subscribe share the usual thing you know um, just keep it going but I'm really enjoying it and I'm thank you so much for your support as you can see there at the moment there's uh, that little egret's making its way towards me and uh, the two birds to the left and one to the right appear to be at this distance quite silhouetted are uh, red shank and there the eagle goes, just having a bit of fishing, oh they're so quick, there we go, absolutely wonderful to watch, oh and there goes a red shank, and a little bit of a playful behaviour there. I've got a bit of exciting news actually, um, I submitted one of my badger pictures um, that I took back in the summer. Uh, in the British Photography Awards. It's one of the first competitions I've ever entered. Um, and I actually got shortlisted, um, which I'm absolutely over the moon about. Um, so I'm hoping maybe I could go a little bit further uh, for the second round judging. Um, so but to be shortlisted, to be honest, is absolutely amazing. And uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm just chuffed to bits to, to be up there amongst some, some great photographers. And in many in my category are actually professional photographers that I've followed for years as a, as a young lad so you know it's, it's, it's an absolute joy really to know that you know your your image is up there I mean you know my badger image is up there with tigers and polar bears you know it's kind of pretty cool really um, fingers crossed to see how I get on um, but I've had a, a bit of work this uh, for 2019 I've had done quite a bit for magazines and I've just recently done a bit for the Ministry of Defence magazine I've just I've got an article to do an eight page article in a magazine called Drift which is a magazine based here in Cornwall um, and doing an eight page um, article on wildlife in Cornwall will feature about 15 to 20 of my images along with my bio and a bit of a story so you know really chuffed with that and there's a few other little things um, possibly happening as well so you know it's, it's great to, uh, to to contribute and help uh, and I've done quite a bit with the Cornwall Wildlife Trust for the Badger Vaccination Project which is great um, promoting that which is which is which is you know such good work really uh, and also I've been uh, two of my images have been nominated for their calendar in 2021 so you know really really pleased with that so you know uh, at the end of the day it's an absolute bonus I just enjoy being out in nature doing what I do you know you don't get them every time but it's just being here amongst it all quiet you know it's, it's just beautiful so uh, yeah fingers crossed for the competition who knows just have to wait and see <laughs> Thank you. 
There's a grey heron here. There's a grey heron. In fact, two grey herons. So I just managed to uh, get to a different location and um, I think I was a bit too exposed so I've now come up on the bank not getting quite as low aspect as I like really but um, it's great to be down low get that intimate eye to eye with a bird really or any of the mammal subjects anything you're taking pictures of being slightly high up does just just takes that edge away from the picture and doesn't give it as much punch really and intimacy um, but nevertheless beggars can't be choosers and there is no cover down there on the mud flats for me it's just uh, so I'm tucked up here in the on the bank in the forest so fingers crossed the egret makes its way up it's, it's getting closer so fingers crossed one thing about this location um, that no one comes here it's kind of inaccessible it's so so sheer to get down here uh, it's so muddy to get up through the creek and this is actually private land this is owned by a good friend of mine um, and this is my first time in this part of his uh, his area of um, woodland and estuary really so it's a great spot so I don't really know the lay of the land in here um, but uh, it's nice to get a few shots in the bag. Got some nice egret there. Got some nice grey heron, sandpiper, I think. Um, something just flushed it a moment ago. I'm not sure what it was, but uh, it seemed to have flushed the egret as well. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm sure they'll come back. But the weather's turned horrible now. The rain really is coming in. Um, Thank goodness for my waterproof cover. Yeah, the weather is hideous now. Um, rain is coming really thick and fast and I haven't really got waterproofs on. Um, this wasn't really supposed to be a wet afternoon um, and I've only got a windproof really so uh, I'm not sure how long I'm gonna stick it out but it's been quite good I've you know seen a few kingfisher and I managed to get a shot of one on an old wooden stump but to be honest I'm not sure how good that's gonna be when I get back on the computer um, 
just have to see it probably be quite noisy it's shot quite high I so I'm quite quite far off so um, today I've got the, the 600 and the 1DX <coughs> so I'm only sh I'm obviously shooting at 600 millimeter there's no added crop factor there but uh, we'll just have to see but uh, I've got, got a few in the bag which is great so decide to call it a day uh, it's been quite a nice three hours this afternoon um, on the creek in Greek. Um, I've seen some fair few species there. Green shank, red shank, kingfisher, grey heron, little egret and a, and a grey wag which was, which was really really good. Um, so time to head home, make my way back up this mountainous slope. Um, but thanks, thanks for watching. Um, look out for my next YouTube video which will hopefully be up in the Cairngorms up in Scotland so um, I'm really looking forward to it six days so hopefully some great footage some great scenery and if you haven't um, subscribed please do so um, like and share uh, leave us a comment if you can and all the other subscribers thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time